Hello everybody, it's me. Welcome back to the video. That was such a solid clap and I'm so happy for it. Anyway, I am finally acknowledging reboot colors' suggestion or request. I am finally doing a mono ice team. I am super excited to see ice, 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 and ice. So it's actually kind of funny how there, there, there's primary ice types, right? Right here, but then there's secondary ice types, right? That's kind of cool. I didn't realize I sorted it like that, but yeah. Today, I'm just going to be just, I slammed together these ice types to see if everything would work out in my favor, and we're just gonna find out. The Skadeen has the wrong move set, but I just really don't wanna change it. Switch out Ice Prison for like a freaking, I think it's Snow Fort. I think that's what they use. Just switch that out and then make it magically defensive, but I didn't really wanna do that. It's just there so I can like stop pivots, you know? That's the whole plan. Anyway, I'm excited. Hopefully you are as well. Let's just hop into the first battle and see how well things go with Mono Ice. Let's not fight a fuck. Let, actually, no. Let's not fight metal types. That's what we don't need. Okay, here we go. This is the first battle. I can see Kadiri kind of just winning this battle. I literally just need to get like one gem blast boost, I think. It's been a very long time since I've used a Kadiri, so I really don't know how well it's going to work out. But its coverage is really, really good. So, let's see. Um, what I'm going to do, I think, is just lead off Polar Geist immediately. I think Polar Geist is always the best possible lead I can do. Because it, right now, it'll hit everything super, super, super hard. Right? So, what we're going to do here is we can easily go for a Kona Cold. Nothing stops you from Kona Colding here because he can't pivot. And if this thing dies, nothing threatens Kadiri. And then the rest of his team just will die. If I get one Gem Blast boost, Kadiri should be able to win the game immediately. I think they're just gonna go into mold. Actually, Jaluminous. That should take a lot. Oof. Okay. It's quite a bit on the Jaluminous there. Um, it's definitely especially defensive Jaluminous. So this is just a Psycho Force that I, I really. Oh, not a Psycho Force. Wait, they would Aurora Flash here. I gotta go Kibara. I think Kibara is almost required here because I really have no other way of beating uh, these types. Okay, we take like I think four damage almost. We take nine, not nine, eight. All right, now let's go for a free gem blast here. It's lit it, nothing can switch in here. Kabara's coverage right now is really strong. Go for Psycho Force to take almost no. Kabara's busted, dude. Like I don't know how to explain how good Kabara is. It's so freaking strong. I don't know how to explain how good it is. I once one shot at Kabara. That's strange. I got Unbreakable, buddy. You're you're doing so much less damage to me, and I'm getting multiple boosts from this as well. He, he once wait he cannot beat kibara once he dies i would just need to uh kill the uh, hat tricks and then kibara can win right now i could see squonk coming in um but you know oh wait killing this just opens up uh polar guys now i'm pretty sure because then we do enough to jaluminous to take it out yeah we kill this it opens up polar guys so we're gonna do that plus it's an ice resist which we need to freaking murder we don't have any real way of beating ice tight or ice resists, so they actually agitate us, which really sucks. I used up a heal that I did not want to use. So that turn went very well in his favor. I'm just gonna keep spamming mind draining. Maybe I can get past the rage. I just realized his name is a Rick Roll. Rick never gonna give you up. Rush to do like negative damage. Yep. Can I like gem blast and not heal? This really sucks. I've used two heals so far. I don't necessarily need the heals is the thing. It's gonna go heal again, I assume. Okay. That really sucks. Um, I gotta kill Hatrix, but I really have no switch into it. I have Koryu, which is my only switch into it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go Koryu. I think Cory should do some big damage to Mold as well. They're just gonna fireball every time. And I do have Empowerment Ring, so I can do extra damage here with Aurora Flash, which will be really, really nice, but I don't think my attack stats will be able to take out Hatrix. I think it's more ranged bulky than it is melee bulky. So we're definitely not gonna be able to take this thing out in one shot. We're gonna do a lot of damage though. 
And they can't switch into this either. Yeah, Cory threatens his entire team. Cory is very, very good. Okay, I did almost no damage. And their crayons will talk to. I'm pretty sure Icy Slash takes it out. So I'm gonna go for an Icy. Oh, they're flashbang. Okay. That's kind of unfortunate that they're flashbang. I mean, I don't ever see Voltaggi run flashbang, so I did really could not have expected that. Icy Slash is literally free. Like, nothing really switches into it besides Mold, which the more chip we get on Mold, the better chance we have at winning. But we're just gonna go Mold, though. Hatrix. Oh! My god. I assume they're also flashbang. They're not going into this and they're not flashbang, right? They have to be. That or their fireball. I'm gonna go into Kibara, because I'm pretty sure it's flash. It has to be flashbang. Oh, it just thought it could outspeed. That's not how that doodle works. I assume now we're just gonna psycho force. Um, I'm gonna gem. I have to gem. Let's see. He goes for a psycho. That shouldn't. The amount of bulk that Kibara possesses is just insane. And now he can't break me unless he's Piercing Poke, uh, Thornet. Which they do not run Piercing Poke. Jaluminous, we need to come in, Psycho Force, but then I just heal. Is it Piercing Poke? Because right now, Kibara wins, right? Yeah, I just need to kill this. I'm pretty sure I would live even if it is piercing poke. Okay, it is. That should do, like, no damage, though. Never mind. It killed me. I thought I would live. Oh, it's lethal. That makes sense. So, it's offensive. Okay. Well, I feel like Polar Geist can just, like, Kona Cold, right? This entire video is going to be me clicking Kona Cold and saying Kona Cold half the time. Although, what if, if they go into Mold, I feel like Hex is also a good option, but I can always Kona Cold. Okay. That was, like, the only thing in the way of Kadiri. What sucks is Thornit outspeeds Kadiri and kills it. So that's all I need to be worried about. As they go into Michael. Um, I definitely can't break it. I don't know what to do against this. I would have to go into you and then Mind Drain. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I have to do that. Let's say, like, uh, Agitate. Spirit Orb, that would not have mattered even, even if it hit me. So I can Mind Drain here. It's not gonna kill, unfortunately, but that's, it'll be fine. It'll be okay. That's how strong Mold is. He heals up there. He's gonna use his go an, an, another Agitate. Okay, so he just wants to Agitate my entire team. But that puts me in a weird spot. Where I'm gonna click Cone and just hope it goes for Mind Drain. If not, Kona Cold is just my best option. Right now, he can't really beat Cryoterra, so that's good. What did it click? Roar Flash, I assume, because it clicked the worst move for me. Oh my god, still did a lot of damage. Okay. So, they're obviously gonna go for like a Needle Spike. I'm gonna go into you, because I'll get the melee defense boost. And then I'll also hit it with a, uh, Thorns, and then they're going to also take Lethal Ornament damage. So this could work out incredibly well in my favor. I need to kill this, so honestly, going for Cone here is my best option. I need the Thornet to die. I need it to die. He could also hit and run. I could totally see hit and run coming out here. And he's just like, oh, I'll live one hit, you know? I was going to say, unless it's Riot Shield, but then I realized it's not Riot Shield. Well, this seems to be working out pretty well so far. Mono Ice winning against the Mold. I'm down. Water types are really the biggest issue here, honestly. Like, if I was allowed to use hat tricks, it has one, like, ice coverage to work out well. They're going squonk on my Kona Cold. I really don't know why they did that. As I crit it. So, 
What are you doing? What what are, what are you? What's your game plan here? I don't think Skinny Skinny does not outspeed it. I mean, I'll just Kona Cold again. I mean, I'll take it out. So, I think fine. Well, okay. Them vining just makes it so I have to win with Cryoterra, which I'll always outspeed Voltatu because I have Juniper and Amber on Cryoterra. So right now, Cryoterra is the winner. Cryoterra wins the game. He shockwaves here. He's forced to. No swapping. Wow. He's just noticing this. Yep, and I can just Kona Cold spam. In Kona Cold, Hyper Voice, it does not matter. Kona Cold is totally free. I always, always outspeed will talk to because I have, like, a lot of speed investment. Yep. Juniper plus Amber is so nice for extra for outspeeding a lot of threats, which is really good. I go with Michael. Um, I always get to go Polar Geist. They can goo blast. It, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. Although me getting poison makes it so I don't have speed. Oh, or I get my thing anymore, which I would have been able to get it, I'm pretty sure. That was yeah, I would have definitely been able to uh, use another move. So that kinda hurts. Um, well I get to Kona Cold. It, it, he can't switch into Thornet. He can't. Right now, it's going to be up to if Cryoterra lives and attacks on Thornet, but I don't think Thornet is going to be able to live. Because it's going to take damage from Lethal Ornament every time it attacks, and you take 10%, and it does 18. So, yeah. This thing's not going to fall for Kadiri. I don't, I'm not going Kadiri. I'm staying in and attacking. I don't... I don't get why he did that, honestly. Because I, d I don't understand that at all. I mean, okay, I'll hex. I mean, I don't really understand why you did that, but okay. Okay. Spirit Orb. I actually managed to live, which I think is hilarious. Hex does like three damage. And I'll go down to my poison. Then I can go into Cryo Terra. And that should be a good, good game with our Hyper Voice. GG. Good game. Good, good game. Anyway, that was a pretty good battle. Let's hop to the next one, shall we? Another round of me saying Kona Cold 11 times. And they have no ice switching. Oh, oh, and they freaking left. Oh, sick. Well, that, 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 that was unfortunate. I think I've learned not to do these showcases whenever it's kind of later. Because no one... Oh my god. I... I'm gonna cry. This is bullying. I literally am walled by Kill Intel. So. Uh, I'm gonna need you to do a lot this game. Core, you can beat the entire team, but it needs to, like, win first. I'm always, gonna, I'm always gonna go Polar Geist lead, just in case they go with, like, a pivot lead. Okay. They go Horror Beast. Hmm. Dark Slash is coming out. I gotta go Skadeen. Hold on, this could be really good for me. Because I need damage. Wait, if I get Ice Prison and trap it, it could go for like a disarm. Darn. I go by Nautic. Okay, well I trap it, so it can't switch now. Can't go for any sort of switch. Um. I gotta go core you, man. I have to, although they're just gonna be able to rest. They always rust here on Koryu, I feel. Okay. Okay. So. They don't have much dark switching. They can go their own Koryu. 
I could totally go for Aurora Flash. Because, like, why would they stay, you know? They know Dark Slash is coming out. I feel like if I go for Aurora Flash, I'm in a really good spot. But Dark Slash also is a completely fine move for me. So I think I'm just going to click it. I don't need to click any other move besides Dark Slash right now. Because my Cory's at full health. So, yeah, that's exactly what I was afraid of of him going into that. I do lower his defense, though, and I get to go into Skadeen now, which is something that I really need to do. <laughs> My Mono Ice will be victorious this game. Okay. That's really, really good for me. That's really good. Okay. Um, I really... They're going to switch, obviously. They, they're not sacking off their core you immediately. I feel like I could safely go into Polar Geist without much issue, you know? Like, they're not staying in, right? I'm gonna go Polar Geist, go for a risky move. But I feel like this would pay off. Yep, as I go into Binotic. <clears throat> now, they are totally going into Kill and Tell, right? They're totally going Kill and Tell. So, I really wanna, like, Feral, but I literally am walled by Kill and Tell no matter what I do. So, I feel like going for a Switch is fine I need damage on the bio right just cone they're always gonna go into kill and tell though how much does this do is it curse cloak no it's not it's crayons and I don't have a disarmor okay we're gonna need to beat that somehow how I don't really know I, I think we need to go Koryu. If any, we need to go Koryu and start abusing our damage. Because Koryu beats the entire team, I think. I am now confused, which does kind of suck for me. Let me Storm Heal. As they disarm, get rid of my spiky thorns. I'll heal up. Right now, I need to get. I need to kill Kill Intel. Because then it opens up everything else in my team. I'm going to try to rust. Okay, nice. They're going to actually let me try to hit it. Don't hit myself. Nice. Okay, that's really, really, really good for me. That's really, really good. I feel like now... I'm at a point where I don't need her anymore. I just need to get damage on this thing. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. That's what I, that's what I was hoping that wouldn't happen, but it did. Okay, I'm realizing that if once this lady dies, I just lose to their Koryu. So... I really need that to die. Well, they can't switch into my Koryu, right? They literally can't. I can always go mine and Dark Slash, right? Every single time. They can't switch into it. If anything, they're going to sack that or go like Wolf Freeze. Magma Toad. Well, I'm obviously clicking Icy Slash every single time. If they go back into Kill Intel, then I know that it's Flashbang. I mean, they're just letting me get damage on the entire team. There was no reason to go Binotic there. There was really no reason to do that, so. I will just Dark Slash. took 45 damage but in exchange i was able to kill one of his ice resists which the others are decently low i just need to kill kill intel and doing that's difficult right now because right now we are exchanging ko's with koryu right he used to go koryu every single time and hit me right and i can't stop him i can literally okay i I love Polar Guy so much this game, but it's the fact that I can't really switch into Cory. And Kibara can't do anything versus it. I'm pretty sure Cryoterra would outspeed it. So, I need to go Cryoterra and Hyper Voice. But then Kill Intel just to come in, right? So, I think I just sack Polar Geist. But it's so good this game. No, I have to sack Polar Geist. There's nothing I can do with it.
Then I'll come to cold. I have to do this. Unless he misses his attack, which would be sick. But I'm pretty sure he'll just dark slash to be safe. What am I on Kadiri again? I think I'm... Okay. I don't outspeed the Koryu with her, though. I know I don't. I have to go Cryo. This is very bad. Because we can just keep trading kills, you know? Please live. I thought I'd outspeed it. Is he Juniper or something? This is not good. I don't think I'm going to be able to win this specific battle. Oh. My. God. Hold on. Wait. There's actually a very good chance now. He did that crit. Like, what is he? I need to know how he outsped the Cryoterra, because pretty sure I was Marshmallow, Juniper. Yeah, he was Juniper. Okay. That makes more sense. I'm going to heal. I don't think this thing can kill me. Unless it has Iron Slash. Okay. I'm very worried. I did not need him to do that. Okay, now I need to beat him with Kabara. Well, okay, Fiery, Electro, Dark? What is he? Okay, luckily, I'm actually be able to beat this thing. It's lowering its defense as well. Okay, nice. I, I'm able to take it out. Kabara is putting in a lot of work. I'm going to need Koryu to outspeed and kill Will Freeze, but if it's Rush Will Freeze, I think I'll just lose. I got a Kona Cold. Okay. He luckily did ne never got a crit, which is really good for me. I wanted him to actually go Magma Toad. Will Freeze. Yeah, is it Rush? Oh, this is really good, actually. So, I can just... She can die, unfortunately. Kibara's gonna go down. Unless I live this amount. That'd be awesome if I live. Okay. And now I can go into Koryu. And now I can Iron Slash. I I genuinely don't know how to explain my actual hatred for Royal Ice as a move. I don't know how to explain my actual hatred for that move. It's such an unskillful move. Royal Ice is the most unskillful move in the entire game. No one can tell me otherwise. It's 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 unskillful. It takes half a brain cell to use Royal Ice to move. It does. And you can't tell me it doesn't. Uh, Well, I can't really do much here. If I get a Roar Flash, confuse it, and then it hits itself, that's my best option. Yeah, it's, I really have to just go for that. I don't really get why he would go into this. Um, unless it's... Oh, wait. Because I'm Divine Beast, I can beat the Wolf Freeze. So I think he's trying to go... Well, Wolf Freeze gets a 50% boost in speed now, right? Hold on. He might have just thrown the game. Give me the days. Okay, hold on. Okay, now I gotta go into Koryu, right? He doesn't want to switch in on a, on a Dark Slash. 
I don't know. It's gonna get very close. It's gonna get a very, very, very close battle. Dark Slash. Yeah, yeah, he, he had a lot of wasted. But it's Flashbang Koryu. Or not Koryu. Galinto. It's yeah, I don't die to that though. Oh my god. I, I, question. Were you gonna royal ice? I have a flash. GG. Oh my god. But after that, I think that'll be ending off this showcase. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and if you did, leave a like and subscribe down below. It is very helpful. I'm not really showcasing anything specific, but Mono Ice, a pretty solid Mono team to use. If you guys want me to do more Mono teams, like as I did with like Jamie, but this time like as a solo thing, let me know, because I would totally do more of these Mono type te teams. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye!